Yo, 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 guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Marrow and SA Weekly. It's me and Dean here today to give you some grow tips. Thank you so much for the support on our grow store over the last few weeks and hope you're all having a very merry season. Uh, today, we have some interesting guests coming along and we'll dive into it a little bit more. But first, I want to ask Dean a question. How's your spectrum looking, Dean? <laughs> My spectrum is unknown because I've never known that it can be tested. So the conversation today is all related to around the testing of spectrum via the spectrometer. <laughs> yeah, we have a, uh, some guys from EnergyWise uh, coming on to give us a little bit of an ex explanation on a, on a new unit that's available. It's a, a somewhat of a handheld uh, de uh, handheld device that can give you a spectral reading. Uh, in past, I've gotten quotes for spectrometers and they've come up back at like 300,000, a million bucks. So like, you know, they're not generally, I didn't actually generally know you could do it in like a sort of home setting uh, with much accuracy, but these are uh, sort of new proprietary units and they're gonna be able to explain to us a little bit of the benefit of getting your spectral readings. And hopefully we'll have some some our hands on some soon that'd be quite cool yeah, to play with <laughs> i also think also just for the from the home consumer through to like the contractor you know people who are doing installs mm. and stuff like that this also seems like an interesting product on that front as well i'm super mm. keen my knowledge base though is is, min, is marginal so I'm, I'm keen to i'm keen to learn more about uh, the specific specific to be honest areas. as with most of our of our episodes you know like we, tr we, we obviously, you know, we're on a pursuit to educate ourselves as much as possible. And sometimes we do have to be honest and we don't know everything about everything. You think you know about LEDs and stuff and then it's like, oh my God, you know, there's like 1 million things, sufficiency, you moles, you know, like you know, it's, it's a degradation of, you know, it's, there's so many things that, that we still want to learn in our Drop spectrometer. Spread. I mean, to be honest, I've never even considered much of the, the, the spectrum as a, very important factor but i think we're going to get schooled uh today on that yeah. <laughs> and as your as as your knowledge base grows you start to look at more things you know when you don't know much about something you can look at something and be like okay you don't really see it but when you know about it you see far more you know mm -hmm. so it's that kind of case as you learn more about lighting or about growing you're learning you're constantly wanting to improve that much step further it takes you down a crazy crazy path of education as yeah. soon as you think you're getting good you're like oh my word i know nothing <laughs> yeah yeah we finally know how little we finally know how much how little we know <laughs> all right let's uh i'm gonna bring the guys in so long Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we are super excited to have you guys on the show. Uh, I, we were explaining a little bit uh, in the in the prelude to this how we are maybe going to be schooled a little bit on understanding spectrums today, uh, and uh, it's it's a bit of a new insight for us. But yeah, we're excited to have you guys and. Uh, just jump in and, and give us a little bit of a explanation about your company and uh, what you guys do. Thanks so much, guys. We're, we're stoked to be here. Thanks for having us on. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, Jonas and this is Anton. Um, I'm the COO here at EnergyWise and Anton is our head of R&D. Uh, EnergyWise is an LED, well, we design and manufacture LEDs for commercial and industrial use uh, and obviously horticultural. Um, and yeah, we're based uh, out of, out of not so sunny Durban at the moment. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Um, and in terms of obviously, uh, one of the lines that you brought in, that's obviously the spectrometer. I mean, you guys have the experience in lighting, manufacturing, and, uh, you know, bringing the lights to market. Uh, why did you decide to bring sort of a product like this to the market, the spectrometers? Yeah. Um, well, our CEO, Andreas, has always proclaimed that high tides raise all ships. So we really work on a philosophy that if the industry grows in knowledge, everybody gains, you know. Mm. Um, when, we, when we got into this horticulture market, we definitely noticed that one of the lacking, one of the points that will, will mature our industry here in South Africa is if the growers start to get to grips with that whole terminology and, and that technology around LED, and this is one of the tools that really allows you to get stuck in there, you know, and, and start to understand properly what's happening. Yeah, we, we've seen it uh, with a lot of, and like in the LED space, like I'm very passionate about the LED market, but I do know how much uh, 
de deception there is in this space uh depending on where the lights come from and and it's not always it's not always chinese lights that get the bad flack there's european manufacturers that maybe aren't up to par there's factories in the states that aren't up to par and there's a whole you know world of of things like this um but anyway in terms of spectrum um and spectrum analysis uh tell us a little bit about what the device does uh, it's uh, obviously I've, i have mentioned to the guys it's sort of a, a home a machine you could use at your home they are about 15 two two devices about fifteen thousand to thirty thousand so it is a very expensive device but uh look at it sort of on the terms if you've you know as the market opens up and if say you're putting out a kilo a month and you do the math it's not so bad um but yeah uh, just so yeah how is the guy at home going to be able to use a device like this and benefit from a device like this so before i hand over to anton who's gonna who's gonna mm. drop some technical bombs on you guys is <laughs> the the idea of this device is, is also very much to, to put the power in, in the growers' hands. You know, as, as, the, as the market, as Anton was saying, as the market matures in South Africa, more and more you're going to find um, people able to, or pe people wanting to verify what it is, that what is on the box is inside the box. Um, mm -hmm. and, and not just blindly take, you know, a sales pamphlet as, as gospel. Uh, it's, it's really, really important for us. And, and, and this was brought in as, as um, sort of a, a an augmentation to, to to our product offering what what we do as you said is is, is design and manufacture like led luminaires for for horticulture and and having a public who's informed as to what they do what degradation looks like what spectrums you're wanting what height uh you know the the, the relationship with height and 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 new models and uh, and mm -hmm. spread and and all those other things this is really just the tool that allows uh, you the grower to be able to figure all of that out and 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 weed out <laughs> the John from the knot. Hundred percent. So, so I mean, they they really are handheld devices. This is the, nice. the the photon fire, and this is the sense stick, and um, basically they they connect Bluetooth to to your phones or to a tablet. So they like cut out the cost of that having a, a a digital display, and they they make it more cost effective through that through that engine, and. Um, so you connect the device to your to your cell phone, and um, and it's really just push a button. Uh, you want to make sure that you're not obstructing any any light sources, so that you're getting mm. the, the complete range of. You've got to be quite careful about uh, disrupting what the what the measurement is. But aside from that, uh, you push a button. It's going to take a snapshot. It can measure both intensity and, as you're saying, the spectrum, and then. Mm. Once it's measured the whole spectrum, it can break it down into the UV, the blue, the wow. green, the red, and the far red components. And it can give you a, a breakdown of how much energy is coming through each one of those channels. And, um, and then it also gives you the ability to save it and, and record and then go back with a few recordings over a period of time and be able to analyze and see what worked well with, with that harvest, what worked what wasn't so good there, you know, if you're in a mm. greenhouse, you've got, you've got other external elements as well. You've got the seasons changing. So it, it allows you to analyze. And I mean, ultimately that's how you're going to grow as a grower is by analyzing and trying to reiterate and get better and see what are the best parts. And no, I, I think it's really going to up, up the game. Uh, I'm wondering is, are we, able to are you able to in in <laughs> i know it's a complicated matter but like uh just quickly explain like a little bit about uh for instance diff, diff, like different stages of plants so they obviously going to need different uh i mean dean you're quite uh, versed on different stages need different color spectrums yeah uh, i mean i'm i'm busy working with the modular light at the moment mm. where the EQ, you can sort of choose what bars you have and uh, I swapped out, uh, you know, I've been swapping out sort of from a blue uh, spectrum to a redder kind of spectrum for my for my flowering period. And it was my first time doing it. And I actually ended mm. up burning all my tips because it was a bit intense. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, you know, especially changing from the blue to the red, it was such an intense change. And I did it, I think, a little bit late. So I, I, I assume with a, with a product like this, you'd be able to test your lights to see if it is good for veg or if it is good for flower. I mean, if it's, you know, and then also to swap out your spectrum accordingly with different combinations of lights to what you have at hand. No, it puts the power in your hand. Eh? You get to choose 100%. Yeah. 
Brilliant, brilliant. We, we, we had a guy who, um, who when he, he first got his hand on it, like we, we got bombarded with, a, with WhatsApp messages. It was amazing though. Like he was so amped. He was like, this is what like, you know, that my greenhouse looks like during the sunset. This is what it looks like during sunrise. <laughs> this is how I'm getting in. This is when I'm augmenting. You know, this is my difference between my HPS and my LED that he was like, he wasn't sure for a while, like where, where they were sitting, what, what the comparisons were. And, and now he had all of that. He wasn't reliant on anyone. He wasn't trying to dig up the pamphlet that came with the box mm -hmm. when he bought yeah. it three years before. He was able to know that day what that light was putting out and, and mm -hmm. degradation being a big part of this, right? So, so LEDs degrade over time. Um, and and, and so, so all of ours, we've, we've got like a five-year uh, warranty on that, that, that what we promise they're going to put out is what they're going to put out. Mm -hmm. And... But but that that is not as yet sort of industry standard, mm -hmm. and and being able to know you know uh, you, I can imagine being being a grower and after two years you're suddenly starting to see like this mad drop off in 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 your yield and you're you're going through like is, is something changed in the water is something changed in, is it mm -hmm. is it the soils I'm using is it is it the the, the, the genes um, and meanwhile the last thing you'd expect because it doesn't look any different to the naked yeah. eye. Your yeah. light is your light. It's working hundreds, and and that's it. It's not giving you any warnings. But with this, maybe you switch it on, you give it a test, and you realize you've lost, you know, twenty five percent of your UMOL output, or your spectrum's changed, or or something like that. And just having uh, knowledge is power, guys. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's it's no it's no. I didn't make up the saying. Yeah. <laughs> and it's and 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 just having that power in your hand is 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 vital. Mm. Yeah, I think guys listening at home, they obviously there will be, you know, the price of the unit is is a is a massive factor. But think down the line when we get into the rec space, these are going to be the conversations we're going to be having uh, among the table. We're operating in a in a coming out of an illegal market, and you know, unfortunately, the guys in the states, in the US, uh, in in the EU, they've had access to tools like this for a long time, and it's like it's just part of table talk. But you know, and it seems a bit scary that you know, like these are the things that, like, growing isn't just you know, they you have to have those, you know, your apogee meters, you have to have your sensor meters, you have to be checking your light spectrums, and down the line, those are going to be the things that uh, we're going to have to be doing. Um, to follow on to that, uh, the main the main question I was, I was getting to uh, or leaning to, you did kind of answer it, but I can understand. So in terms of like a return on investment on a unit, um, you know, and I, I kind of guess it's obviously subjective a little bit, but are you going to be able to, how are we going to get a, a return? You know, if a guy buys a unit, um, if you can explain that to a little bit in terms, I suppose the degradation was a little bit of, we we've touched on that, but they're going to be able to get uh, the results you know, the results are going to be, you know, if they can fine tune and optimize it, they're going to be able to get the results that they want. I've kind of answered the question. <laughs> Thank you very much. Paul. No. <laughs> and, and Andrew, um, you know, the guys who are coming from HPS, they, mm. they can tell you how many they've got, What's the layout? What's the interspacing? They can mm. tell you what brand name they're using. Mm. But, but as a designer of, of uh, lighting systems, so when a grower comes to me, I'm really looking for him to give me the lead on what, UML, what micromole spec he's looking mm. for. You know? mm. And so many guys can just tell me they've got this many double-ended HPSs uh, this far away from the, from the grow, and I'm like uh, uh, trying to make something up it's it's really the starting point of, of for them to get a grip on what they what they've got what they're used to what they like and to be able to tell me hey this is this is where we want to go that's that's what we want you know mm. so and i mean also like uh anton anton was just saying earlier in a conversation like you know a, a lot of these other systems are coming out with with just a dial, like a percentage dial on the side that you can dial up your light, <laughs> you know, to, 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 and it's, and it's percentage, right? It's like 25, yeah. 75, hundred percent, but like what that equates to, like mm. you're, you're like, Oh, it's 75 of, of what, what, what yeah. is 70 with this? That is, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Thumb sucking. So with this, you stick, you, you stick it underneath, grab a, grab a snapshot, check it out on your phone. You can be like, Oh, that's exactly what it is. Mm. And, and you can then, you know, write that down, have it as, as set in stone, unless, you know, degradation is taken into account. And that is something that, that, that might happen over time. But I mean, just, just on that, just on like the pure knowledge value 
and um, is it's just like astounding, like the difference that this will make to mm. to, to 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 people who are wanting to to really get into to those fine tweaks. Yeah, and also power saving because if you if you're over shooting in your veg where it's not necessary, you know, you could be pushing 350 watts where you could essentially be getting away with you know maybe maybe 25 percent of your lights usage and you don't know unless you have the data the data at hand so for like the the aspect of getting the the perfect sort of spectrum and then as uh, power for each stage i suppose would be a massive uh massive plus as well and then yeah. uh and i mean dina in terms of uh, like your space i mean uh uh in your your field i mean you can obviously use it a lot for not only just uh you know personal grow but like you know and something you know consulting with uh with other grows as well you know yeah i mean i love that point on the double end of hps with with this unit you'll be able to take your your spectrums into account with the hps's and then work across onto your onto your leds and i mean i swapped from hps to led about three years Mm -hmm. ago and for me it was two years of learning curve you know it took me two years to get back to where I was previously with my growing because yeah. it was just such a such a big change for me because I didn't I mean my knowledge base was growing one and I didn't maybe have the education too but it was also a completely new type of technology you know mm-hmm. and I didn't uh, and it took me a long time to and I and with with the with the data at hand I think it would have been a far easier transition yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah I mean as as the market matures in 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 South Africa you're going to see that become more and more you know people are going to get better faster because mm, like yes. when when you were coming up and you were making that change like where where were you going to for for your for your resources you know mm. you were trying to adapt stuff move stuff interpret stuff once you've yeah. got like the market moving through its iterations increasingly you have hard fast data analytics uh, plug and play stuff like this that allow you to 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 get those metrics on hand really really quick to to find out like what your fall off is of light intensity you know why where what you know if if you've got your your table set up you know what what the plants on the outside of that table are getting versus what the plants on the inside and and you'll be you'll be shocked i think a lot of people will be shocked to find out like how steep that fall off is Mm, yeah yeah 100 percent guys unfortunately yeah we we've we've come to uh just about the end but we're very much looking forward to some future episodes where we can actually get into the nitty-gritty about uh, different just spectrums. To, yeah, sorry. I also just want to announce that there is a competition being run oh, yeah. on Energy Wise's <laughs> Instagram page, where if you guys go and check the Instagram page out, you can win one of the units, which will be really cool for the up and coming growers. So, guys, do go check it out. Also, punch on our Instagram a bit. But mm-hmm. yeah, thanks so much for coming on, guys. It was really, really enjoyable. And I think we've all learned to, well, I've definitely learned a lot. So, I'm sure a lot of people are going to as well. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Thanks Brilliant. for having us, guys. Thanks so much, guys. See ya. The mind blown after these sort of things. It's like a little bit annoying because it's like, now I know, like, fuck, I know nothing about Spectrum. <laughs> yeah, now I need to go do research Great. and watch like at least 30 new uh, new YouTube videos. So I was like, it's like when you, uh, the rabbit hole just gets deeper and deeper yeah. and deeper. Uh- <laughs> Sorry, man. I guess we, we're going to have, we're going to have some available on the site soon for the, for those that are still uh, listening. So we'll be, and also we're going to get some hands on some testing units. We're going to make some dank videos and we're going to actually go and test our grows and, uh, you know, wave this little spectrometer around and get some, you know, get our, get our Android and it's all connects to your phone. So it's like right up, right up our streets with automation. And, you know, we're going to have, uh, I don't know. <laughs> we're going to be very, yeah, very excited about the spectrums and getting it all tested. So yeah, we deeply look forward to that and always, uh, make sure to like, and subscribe. Thanks so much for listening, whether you're listening on Spotify or any of your podcast apps, make sure to check us out on YouTube. It's our, our main channel. Give us some love on Instagram. We've been struggling a bit there. It's not really seeing much, much growth and, uh, till next week. Much love guys. <laughs>